Hey guys, I'm Daniel with Gum Mag Training. Uh, I get a lot of questions out there about you know different types of reloads, tactical reloads in classes and on the internet. My personal opinion of the tactical reload is in the grand scheme of things, it is not the most important skill that you need to develop. Uh, it is a skill that will be developed as you develop important skills like reloading your gun and proper loading procedures and other things. Because basically all you're doing is reloading the gun or unloading it in some way and then reloading it. So not complicated, not rocket surgery, but a lot of folks put a lot of emphasis on the tactical reload. I personally don't, but I do use it in my training classes for a tool to teach some other things and to make somebody do work. So they're always looking for work and, and putting in some work uh, and trying to find some more work. So the methods that I teach and I use for tactical reloads are, are quite various. There's a few different ones out there. I'm going to go with the most standard and a couple different ways to do it here real quick. Uh, one of our options here is I've got my, my magazine in the gun. I've got a round in the chamber. Let's say I've been firing. Let's say there's a, the fight is almost over or that fight is over. My bad guys are down or uh, whatever situation. I was holding security on a door that I was fighting through. Um, now I'm just, uh, I don't have work to do right then. I've got a buddy covering me, but I know I may have work to do in the future, right? I may need to use this gun some more. So I don't want to go into that next room or go into that next space where I may make contact uh, with, a, with a, the hostile or the bad guy, or whatever. Um, I don't want to go to that with five rounds in my gun. I'd like to have a topped off gun. And that's where we, that's why the term is tactical reload. All right, my overall strategy is clear this building, find the bad guy, capture, eliminate, whatever it is. If you're a law enforcement officer, defend your home as an armed citizen, whatever it is. So that's what I want to do. Uh, but if I know I might be getting in a, in a fight later on, I'm going to go in there with a topped off gun the best I can. So that's my, my tactic is to make sure that thing's topped off. So let's say I've spent a few rounds and I'm about to make move into another area. I might just take that magazine and I'm grabbing my new magazine. And this technique I'm using what I refer to as kind of a beer can grip. I'm going to put it right next to my other magazine and make an L, kind of like that. And I'm going to pop this guy out, pop that new magazine in, just like that. She's seated. And then put that other magazine back in a magazine pouch, dump pouch. If it's got rounds in it, it may still have value to me. I may need it later on, depending on what kind of situation you're in. A law enforcement officer with six rounds, six magazines, or a military cat with a lot of ammo may not need to worry so much about putting that back in a pouch or rotating anything like that. Uh, but it's got value to it. You know, we keep that magazine, uh, don't leave it on the ground. You may need it. So that's one of my techniques. The other option is I'm gonna pull this magazine out. If I'm running a plate carrier, this is the one I pretty much always use, but I'll pull that guy out using like a sandwich style grip like that. All right, and then I'm gonna put it next to my magazine. And if you look at my index finger, I'm kind of using that as a spacer because if I put them right next to each other and held it like that, I won't be able to get the next one in the magazine well. So I'm gonna pull that guy just like that right there. Right, and then I'm just gonna pop that thing out. See, I've got them spaced. And then the new magazine goes right in the magazine well. And then I can put that magazine away or put it in a dump pouch, whatever you like to do, whatever SOP is. There's a thousand different ways, things which you can do with that magazine. Uh, so that's one tactical reload and two different ways to do one of those. Um, another option, you know, we saw, I've heard stories and read reports of, of people in Katrina uh, doing reloads and tactical reloads and dropping magazines in like two feet of rushing water. And when they did that, uh, that magazine's gone forever. Like if we're working in snow or something where your magazine may disappear, that's a problem. So there's a few other techniques out there that maybe we don't want to, uh, to use that controlling it. Because the idea of what I was doing just then, I really minimized the time that my gun was completely unloaded. Right, so I just popped that old magazine out, put a new one in. So there was only maybe a fraction of a second or a second there where my gun only had one rounded. And that's the advantage of that technique. One of the disadvantages, I'm controlling two magazines at the same time, right? Two value, valuable items at the same time. So if I'm running from point A to point B, um, or you know, taking fire, which I shouldn't be doing a tactical reload if I'm taking fire, but any kind of stressful situation that I'm in, it's hard to control two things with these fine motor skills that we're using to control these two magazines. So uh, your situation may be better to use one of these other techniques. And I'm gonna use nubs here to, to demonstrate these. So one of those techniques is, let's say, um, nubs has some, some physical uh, issues, right? So he can't do some of the other techniques so he has to modify a lot of things he does because he's still a freaking fighter right he's still a rifleman uh and, he, and he's good at it so uh what nubs has found that he needs to do to, to get past the situation keep his gun loaded keep it totally topped off is conduct a tactical reload let's go with the one where you you put the mag away and then put the new one in puts that mag away grabs his new magazine puts it in the gun 
stows that magazine where he wants it, usually in his least favorite magazine pouch or in the dump pouch. He wouldn't put that magazine in his favorite speed reload pouch because he don't want to go to it automatically when it's time to reload. He wants to put it in the pouch that makes the most sense right there. So what he did there, he was only actually controlling one magazine at a time. He wasn't controlling two with one hand. So he was controlling one at a time. So if he were running and he dropped one of them, he's only losing one magazine. Maybe it's the, the half empty magazine. Maybe it's not. Another technique, he's finished fire. Maybe he doesn't have a lot of time, but this works just fine. Right, he's firing, bang, 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 all that good stuff. He wants to top the gun off. He's just gonna drop that magazine on the ground, put a new magazine in the gun, and reload it just right there. If he has time, if it allows, he'll drop down there, pick up that magazine before he leaves that area to make sure he's got that mag back on him. As again, in the grand scheme of things, not what I would spend tons of time out there on the range practicing. There's a lot more important stuff, but it is, God does get you manipulating the gun, uh, thinking a little bit with the gun in your hand, which is always important. Uh, and those are just a couple of methods for, for conducting a tactical reload. Thanks, nubs. Guys out there, thank you, and thanks for watching. I'm Daniel. See you next time.